Welcome adventurers, this is Brianna Cresswell with Salt Lake Outdoors and today we embark on an extraordinary journey as we kick off our 2023 South Africa and Namibia Safari adventure. Before we dive into our first episode, let us take a moment to express our heartfelt gratitude to Avula Safaris in South Africa and Hunter's Guide Safaris in Namibia for making this trip a dream come true for every member of our team. Now, while we usually start with our hunting adventures, we have a special treat for you today. As we find ourselves in the heart of Africa hunting season, we thought it would be invaluable to shed light on some misconceptions about taxidermy in South Africa, especially for those planning their first trip here. One of the most common questions we receive is about taxidermy. Should we entrust our trophies to a South African taxidermist or is it better to dip and pack them back to the state? Well, guess what? We've got the answer straight from the source. Sean and Hannes had an impromptu and unscripted podcast session with Warwick from Splitting Image Taxidermy, located in the picturesque city of Port Elizabeth, South Africa. He'll be answering that very question and more. Before we dive into this fascinating discussion, don't forget to show us some love by hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel, and smashing that notification icon. By doing so, you'll be the first to know whenever we drop new content. On the shoulder. Smash, dude. Well done. Welcome back, everybody, to another Salt Lick podcast. And this year, we're back in Africa, 2023, with Avula Safaris. Back at it again, Hannes. Yeah, very excited to have you and your group here, Sean. Um, we've made some good memories. And uh, yeah, it's been good. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're just a few days into a, a three-ish week trip to multiple countries and uh, multiple camps. So we're really looking forward to what's coming. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, it's... Uh, there goes the power. <laughs> Welcome to Africa. <laughs> Rolling blackouts. That, that was one yeah. of the topics we were going to talk about anyway. Yeah. So, but uh, but yeah, and we're joined by a special guest today. We've got Warwick from Splitting Image Taxidermy that happened to pop in, and we figured, hey, this would be a great opportunity to talk to him and 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 shed some some light on what what goes on on the taxidermy side when you uh, when you book a trip to Africa. So, uh, Hannes, you want to introduce him? You know him better than I do. Yeah, I've met Warwick uh, a couple of years ago. He's one of the top guys at uh, Splitting Image. Taxidermy. Taxidermy, I would say best taxidermy in South Africa. So, well, Warwick, we work together quite a quite a lot, and I saw him the other day there at the taxidermy. So, welcome, and uh, yeah, thanks for joining us. Yeah, awesome. Thanks very much. Uh, good thing there's not too much good light here, otherwise you'd see me blushing. Thanks very much for the kind introduction. <laughs> um, Sean, I've had the pleasure of working with you for, uh, for a few years. I think we worked out it might be your sixth uh, safari with us that we've been doing your taxidermy, which yeah. is uh, yeah, awesome. Yeah, I, I think six is in-house right now, and this will make seven, whatever we're harvesting on this trip. So, yeah, it's been been a few years. Yeah, love your work. It's uh, yeah. always, always a pleasure to be able to put a face to the name, and uh, Hannes, I 
thank you very much for introducing us and inviting us down here again. Yeah, and uh, no, we appreciate it for for everybody that's watching. You know, we we have we get questions all the time. Um, you know, what do you do with your trophies? What do you do with the taxidermy? How much of the pain it is? Do you know? Do you ship it back to the states? And you know, for me personally, I, I've done it both ways, but I've developed the relationship with you guys over the years, and um, it's it's been fruitful in that your staff is so attentive to detail and, and will respond almost instantly to everything. Um, you know, I just feel like it's not worth going anywhere else. And the quality of work speaks for itself. Um, you know, you, you and I talked just a short time ago yeah. and, uh, I, I kind of told you about an experience I had with a, with a local taxidermist. We decided to dip and pack one year because we were worried about COVID and yep. it, it, it was not on par with what I come to expect out of South Africa and splitting image. But, um, but yeah, so if you, if you can start and kind of tell us a little bit about the process, if, if, if you're new to hunting in South Africa and safari in sure. general, what does that look like from somebody coming in the outside from the time they harvest their trophies to when they can expect you guys to get involved? Yeah. So it's a pretty good time. I mean, in the safari, there's a few animals in the salt, um, the outfitter you guys work with, Avula, they, they take great care of the trophies in the salt, make sure everything's skinned neatly. Um, we'll, they'll normally spend about five to seven days in the salt. We'll come and pick them up from the from the property in a few days' time. And then uh, once we get hold of the trophies, we'll check them into our system. We've got quite a, um, a thorough process. Everything gets photographed. All the paperwork gets completed and filled in. And then uh, then you get an email from us in, in about a week or two's time, and we get the ball rolling from there. And then uh, we either give you a call or we, or we chat through email and um, – we see what it is that you got in mind. We discuss the, the different options you have available. There's obviously the dip and pack, as you discussed, um, which is a, a shorter turnaround. It's normally about three to four months, um, permit dependent. Otherwise, there's a taxidermy option where we, we get really involved and we put some pretty stuff together for you guys. And uh, that normally, we, we our turnaround uh, at the moment that we've brought back down is, is sitting around that eight to 10 months period. Um, but before that all starts, we, we discuss all your options. We talk about turns, head tilts, and all the different bits and pieces we've got an awesome team back at the shop that are like you say 24 to 48 hour turnaround which is unusual for a taxidermy business that's uh, something that doug the owner uh, put a lot of effort into as he said uh, he's a uh, he, he's quite unique in that he's an artist but he he likes running a good business and uh, so that's one thing that we focus on is the client service side of things and uh, really put some effort into our response time to clients yeah and, and that's fantastic it's it's nice i know that uh, anytime there's an issue i've talked to doug spoken numerous times and if if there's an issue he'll get on the phone and talk to you himself you, you don't have to worry about tracking yeah. him down you can find him and very attentive to, to customer concerns and and there's a lot that goes into it on your side um you know from the most basic uh, dip and pack to the step up to the Euro european mounts yep. um and, and even the european mounts there's a lot of options there and what you can do and and how you can finish the yep. process and then to you know the the higher end mounts starting with shoulder and wall pedestal and ground pedestal and then full life size and half life size so there's a lot of different options and it's confusing yep. to people but yep. you guys in my experience have just you make it much much easier the, the back and forth i know that the best thing for me is i can kind of find a picture online somewhere that i like of you know a, a spring buck mounted a certain way and i yep. can send you the picture and i'm like i'd like it like this but i'd like to have turn the other way and then normally within three or four days i get a photo that somebody's mocked up back saying hey would you like it like this yep. would you like it on this habitat and that's really nice because you can it may not be your animal that they're showing you but it's a very good representation of what the final piece is going to look like yeah so what what makes a south african taxidermy unique and i think splitting image taxidermy unique is that from uh from taxidermy over in the u.s um and i can say this with a lot of confidence we we were involved in a shop over there um is that we tan all of our own skins and we manufacture all of our own forms um so in our magazine that we've got up here and uh, on our youtube channel as well uh we do some videos where we actually sculpt new mannequins um so that's something that we've proud us pride ourselves in um and so adjusting things and making things unique is is in our ballpark so uh we like working with the guys like doing something different um and that's what makes it unique is that we manufacture all of our own forms in-house we alter everything ourselves um so it's not a it's not a form bought off of a catalog um every mount's unique and it's it's made to fit your skin um so we find that that uh, really allows us to do a lot of really unique stuff and uh, also just walk our clients through the through the process um so like i said the first three months of the process, whether you do dip and pack or taxidermy, um, it's just a cleaning process. We want to make sure that the trophies are, are good, clean and dry before they go any further than that. And then, um, then it heads into the, the fun stuff, the tanning and the, mold, the mannequins and the molds. And, um, as we were saying earlier, I'd love you guys to come past the shop at some stage. I know on this trip is not going to quite happen, but hopefully in the future we'll yeah, get yeah, you out. Hannes has a <laughs> bad habit of 
making sure I don't have two <laughs> seconds of spare time. Though I did get to take a nap today for a little bit. Well, that's good. Yeah, I had a little bit of a longer nap, but I think <laughs> next time maybe flying to Port Elizabeth, then we'll pick you guys up right. there. We'll take you yep. past Flat Image yeah. and uh, maybe like have a, a good lunch at the beachfront there. I don't know what you think about that. Oh, well, you know <laughs> I'm in. I'm, man, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be on vacation and he keeps me busy yeah. like that. Three hours of sleep a night, but <laughs> but uh, regress a little bit. So uh, one of the questions I get asked all the time in the States is – for for people there, there's this notion or this idea that it's super expensive to to have your work done in South Africa and ship back. Can you explain that? I know personally that that is not the case sure. because I've been through it. But can you explain that a little bit? And yeah, so so one thing that I think is often maybe forgotten is with with guys that do dip and pack and ship their stuff home. Um, the U.S. taxidermist is a slightly more expensive. Um, just the simple facts, they outsource their tanning, they outsource their mannequins, um, they outsource a lot of their woodwork, so pedestal bases, things like that. Um, so when we compare apples with apples with a, a similar quality taxidermist in the US, even after shipping your trophies home, you're still looking at a 20 to 30% saving um, by having your work done in South Africa. Aside from the fact that you're going into deer season pretty soon, which means uh, every taxidermy and every tan tannery in the US is slammed with a fair few hundred thousand deer and uh, i've experienced that it's a it's a pretty crazy time and of that's the year. and that's a good point to bring up too yeah. you know mm -hmm. I, I just uh, you know you and i spoke off camera and uh you know told you about another taxidermist i used and and how the process that was supposed to be considerably quicker turned out to not be so yeah. and you kind of get put on the back burner and then um you know i don't want to talk bad about anybody but the, I, there was a, a huge quality difference um with the the level of work or, or the final product anyway, okay. uh, that I got back versus what I get back from you. Sure. And, and, and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact, like we, we talked about off camera again, uh, you know, they're buying their molds They're you know, yes, they can do African trophies, but that's not what they do all the time. They're primarily mm -hmm. doing alligators and white tailed yep. deer and bear and hogs. And you guys, that's your specialty. That's what you do. You're right here in country. You do yep. it every single day. You've got a staff that are professional that have done this for their entire lives. And, and that makes a big difference too. And, and what you see when you get that great home. hundred percent. I think, I mean, it, it's, if, if I shoot a white tail or I shoot an elk or I shoot a mountain lion, I'm going to get a U.S. taxidermist to do it because that's what he does every single day. Um, Hannes spends day in, day out in the bush. He walks through the shop and he knows what a good kudu is supposed to look like. Um, and that's the same for us. I mean, Doug was, uh, prior to, to opening the shop, he was a, a walking guide up in uh, Kenya. So he's done a lot of stuff up up north as well. So we've proud ourselves, pride ourselves in our cats, um, which is one thing that we spend a lot of time on. Um, but other than that, every springbuck, every kudu that comes through is important to us because we know it's a, it's it's that one animal that you spend the day looking for and going after and taking that trophy photo, and so we, we really make sure that we put a whole lot of effort into to getting that trophy the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, and and frankly, you know, for for us coming over, there's a lot of time, energy, and and frankly, it's the when you get that animal home and you get it on the wall, you instantly re, instantly relive that memory of that hunt, and that's something that you'll never forget. And and all the you know trophies that I have on the wall today. I can go back and tell you the exact time it happened, the day, yep. who I was with, who my pH was, what what happened. There's a story behind every trophy. And, uh, you know, it's, it's important to make sure that you you leave your trophies in good hands and with good people. And like I said, you know, we've obviously had a um, and, and we don't have a deal together. There's no partnership together. We've just worked together. Yep. You guys do fantastic work. So when I brought this group over, obviously, you know, I want them to use you, too. And I suggested that. And and once we get through here, we're obviously going to have a conversation with them off camera and you're yep. going to walk them through the whole process. And that's something that's unique that you guys do. And I think it really gives people um, a feeling of confidence knowing that then when they leave those trophies and those memories that they made are in good hands and they're going to see them soon yeah so so we've been in business for for over 20 years now um i don't think you get that far in business without uh, <laughs> no. keeping your name above water um so we really we, we're really proud of what we've achieved over the last 20 years and um we when we look back at doing what we do with our our magazine yeah it's not really a brochure is uh we we talked about it for a long period of time and how do you get that amount of information into something so we thought well yeah. let's go down the magazine road and this is this is the second uh, second edition and we have a lot of fun putting this together and it's it's still not everything that we get to what that we do so it's uh that's why it's fantastic to be able to bring people past the shop
workshop when we do get that opportunity. Um, we do quite a lot of YouTube. Um, we see that, that seems to be doing really well. Which there um, will be a link in the description for anybody that <laughs> yeah. wants to know. And I do encourage you to go to their website because there's so much more on the website. And it's mm. very interactive, too, which yeah. is what I really like. So um, rather than – and I, I brought it up, you know, Google a picture or something – if you just spend some time on your website, you can find just about anything you could possibly want there. It's really good. It's easy to use. It's intuitive. And I mean, you guys obviously, you know, you spend a lot of time and energy focusing on the final product, but it's all the other stuff that goes into it that that makes it really stand out to me. Yeah, I think I think that's one thing in the taxidermy industry. You get a lot of uh, there's there's incredible artists around the world um, and you can be an incredible artist, but you can't really run a great business. And mm. I think that's all over the world. I mean, there's African taxidermists that are like that, where you drop something off and you maybe get it back two and a half, three years later uh, with a phone call and a bill at the end of it. Um, and we just want to make sure that you're kept up to date. So throughout the process in the taxidermy, you'll get an email from our team every six weeks updating on exactly where your trophies are. Uh, we take photographs of the trophies throughout every process. So at any point you can say, can I get a photograph? And within seven to 10 days, you'll get a photograph of your trophy um, in whatever phase it might be in, whether it's just the mannequin or whether mm -hmm. it's the mount, whether it's in drying, whatever it might be. Um, so we, we really like to keep open and transparent yeah. in that process. That's incredible. Yeah. And, I, and I think the process too, it, it really starts um, the, the second, the trigger squeeze because yeah. the, the yeah. work that in order for you guys to do your job, you know, there, you've got to get got to get things back there in a proper form that, yep. that aren't destroyed. And, um, you know, the, the, the trackers and the skinners that we've you know, had the pleasure of working with these, these guys in the field are fantastic, yeah. but it's, it's yeah. not just that I watch the level of effort that goes into it from a PHS perspective to make sure everything's tagged, everything's sorted, everything's bundled together. And, and those are the behind the thing scenes, things that nobody yep. sees <laughs> and they don't realize that goes on. You're like, so you can hang out with your pH in a group at night, but as soon as you go to bed, those guys are still out there working, you know, for several 100%. hours. So, yeah. you know, we may be getting eight hours of sleep a night and they're getting four kind of thing. And so, you know, there's a whole nother side to that too. It really starts with those guys and their preparation. And then you guys hang off but it but it's a good working relationship between you two and that's a good thing too you know all for the most part all the phs and you know vula specifically and then other outfitters you've guys got a relationship with them so if there's an issue you know no problem bang 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 mm, you yeah. don't have to worry about it and it's very nice but uh so if somebody wants to get a hold of splitting an image what do they need to do so we've got our, our relative platforms we on instagram facebook um and youtube and then we've got our website um our general email which i receive Doug, the owner receives and our, our client liaison manager uh, Renee is info at splitting image um, that will come to one of the three or four of us and uh, we'll make sure somebody gets back in touch with you perfect um, as we experienced last week uh, he yeah. popped me an email I gave him a call a couple of hours later and uh, yeah I think it was in the airport was I in the airport maybe uh, already or something you were packing I believe packing so, yeah. oh, <laughs> that's right perfect perfect yeah. so uh, and last but not least tell us about what, what do you have on the table here so this is a uh, Again, one of uh, our crazy ideas that we have in the marketing side of things, um, it's a 375 beer. So we thought Africa's classic, it's uh, got a buffalo printed on the back. Um, aptly, it's got a, a large caliber with uh, the alcohol content in there. And then on the back, we've also got a QR code. So you can scan that with your phone when you're in camp and it will take you to our website. You'll be able to download our prices from there. And uh, so yeah, it's just a little something that you can have something cold in camp when you get back to after a long day's hunting so that's 375 hour and is it, it is it good well i like it hannes <laughs> hannes i've, I've, I've got one yet? down the side here i just wanted to know bad the recall on this 375 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah no look you, shall, you we, shall we try it i think let's try it i think, I think let's try it all right well, cheers gentlemen. guys cheers to another trip and yeah thanks very much cheers, thanks for thanks, coming and talking with us and yep. see see how this is going to go down <laughs> cheers guys so it's a craft beer. It's a Pilsner. So this is work with a a, a local brewery. That's actually quite nice, isn't it? It is. Mm, it, yeah, it's, it's quite it's nice. It's got a bit of a fruity taste. It to does. It, it uh, finishes. Yeah. So it uh, goes down well. So I like yeah, it. Like Hannah said, um, too many will uh, give you a bit of a wound. So uh, <laughs> take it easy. Now, can, can we import this back into the state? Can we slip some of these in our crate on the way back home? We, or I will definitely find out for you. Fantastic. It's, uh, it is legally brewed, so uh, there shouldn't be any reason why we can't. Outstanding. All right, guys. Once again, thanks for tuning in. Hannes, thanks for coming. Work, thanks for coming. Um, we'll link, obviously, the website images below. Work told you how to go to hold of them. Uh, Vula Safari's link will be in the description, too. If you guys have any other question, um, I'll tag work in the Facebook post. And Hannes, obviously, in Avula. So if you guys have yep. any questions, 
feel free to reach us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. We respond to every single comment we get. And uh, yeah, we're just happy to help out and, and trying to spread a little bit of what it's like to come to Africa and, and the joy that we all have being here. And, and you're part of the process for sure. Really appreciate this. is a uh, really special. Thanks all so right. much, Sean. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Sean. All right. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.